I did a video fairly recently talking about the advantages and disadvantages of moving away from traditional human dissection teaching in medical school. Moving towards these more virtual forms of anatomy education does afford us views of the human body that we've never seen before, but fundamentally they don't reflect the real thing. But I was contacted recently by a company that aims to change that. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oli, I'm a third year medical student on the graduate entry program at the University of Warwick in the UK. So ladies and gentlemen, this video is fundamentally gonna be about anatomy education and a new platform that I think you might find interesting. Now, as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of medical education. It's something I want to be a big part of my career, particularly anatomy education and education in surgery because the human body is so fundamentally detailed and complex, exquisitely so, that it's often very difficult for educational platforms to properly capture that. So when 4D Interactive Anatomy reached out to me asking if I wanted to talk about their platform, I absolutely jumped on it because I actually came across them a few years ago when they first launched and I remember being super excited by it back then. What is 4D Interactive Anatomy? Well, it's a new platform that allows medical students to carry with them essentially a full 3D view of a real dissected human cadaver. So it brings all the portability and the manipulation ability that comes with one of these 3D encyclopedias, but using an actual human body. As far as I know, this has never been done before, purely because of the kind of complexity and difficulty in achieving this task. But essentially how the process works is they do these really detailed and intricate dissections that are done by expert surgeons and anatomists. Then they take those specimens and then they capture them from all angles using a 3D camera. What they can then do is assemble all of these photos and then this allows you to view them as a 3D construct. So essentially what you have is accessible through a browser thousands and thousands of very, very highly detailed images of these dissections. And it's a very feature rich platform as well. Everything is labeled, there are quizzes, tutorials, everything else you might want from a normal anatomy education resource. But you've actually got that reality, the living anatomy of the human body, not an abstract representation of one or a model of one, it's the real deal. Now, full disclosure, before we carry on any further, 4D Interactive did very kindly offer to sponsor this video. The deal we've agreed on is that they'll supply me with some free licenses to give away to you guys. The three of you will win a free year's subscription to 4D Interactive Anatomy. The giveaway is open to anyone, but you'll have to watch until the end of the video to find out the details on how to enter. So what we're gonna do now is just spend some time having a look at the platform and I'll take you through my thoughts as I explore it a little bit. I think it's worth just exploring some of the dissections that are available to keep things fair. I made a list of things that I wanted to see before logging in. I wanted to see some clinically relevant stuff and some non-clinically relevant but kind of academically interesting stuff just so we can check that the detail is there in kind of both domains of the things that a medical student might want to know about. And as luck would have it, we can see here that the, um, the palmer aspect of the hand and the carpal tunnel is one of the things that I wanted to see. So let's just jump straight into that and we'll explore the website in a little bit. We've got almost a sagittal slice here through the side of the thumb. So with any luck, let's see if we can click. When we move to rotate the image, it immediately switches to this much lower resolution version of the image. It's much more pixelated, much more grainy. So let's say I change it to this aspect here and let go. What should happen, and look at that's happened just in front of me, that the detail returns and I can actually zoom in. Oh, that's, that's very, very pleasing. So let's get zoomed in a little bit. Look at that detail, that's absolutely glorious. I don't know who does these dissections and I hope that information is available somewhere, but they're absolutely exquisite. And we're obviously looking at the palmer or volar aspect here. And I guess if I wanted to see the dorsal part, if we, yeah, the dorsal is saved as a separate a separate stack. And remember, it's really important to remember that these are not 3D models. These images are, are essentially layered slice by slice. So you can't manipulate it in true 3D. It's not a 3D object. It's a series of images that we are manipulating, not an object that exists in kind of discrete space. I think we saw, yeah, I can see some camera flash or something there. 
obviously one of the key features here is that ability to progress through the layers of your dissection and you can do this separately by module as well. It's as simple as using the inner and outer layer buttons to progress through the stack and it's a fantastic way to skim through the details of the structures. So let's look to the left hand side here, we're presented with this menu which I assume is the same for all the models and it's highlighting some things that we might want to see. So the cephalic vein, let's have a look at that so we can see a solid or a cut view. So I've clicked solid and there we go, it's highlighting it for us on the model. Now when I was discussing this with the team, it was pointed out to me that when you select these pre kind of done views of certain structures, see I can then compare that to find my own cephalic vein. What does the cut view? Okay, and it's giving us multiple views. You see these are all in slightly different planes because they have to map. Each of these structures has to be mapped manually by someone reviewing the content and that just the absolute insane amount of work that would be required in order to do this. Let's have a look at something like the radial artery, really important if you want to do an ABG. Um, as a med student, really important to know where something like this is. And yet we can see it right there going through the anatomical snuff box, passing over scaphoid. Now what I want to know is if I, let's say I select something else, extensor pollicis longus, does it keep my zoom level? It does. That's really, really pleasing. Um, because it was kind of a preordained prescriptive image I was hoping that it wouldn't reset my view of the hand while I was doing this and it didn't. I'm really, really pleased to see that. So just having a very quick look through, you know, this is what we're presented with when we start. This is the modules menu and we can see they've got dissections for every part of the body. I really like the presentation of the website. It's obviously very clear in terms of navigation. We've got some imaging as well. Reconstruction of what we've got, MRI and we've got some angiography as well, so it's not just the dissections, we've got associated imaging as well. Wasn't expecting that. Here is where an obvious disadvantage of an approach like this sticks out to me, because as I was saying, it's not a 3D model that's being rendered, it's a series of photographs. That means that labeling is incredibly labor intensive, and I would argue actually borders on the impossible without an AI or something. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, so we can see here, if I zoom in, we've actually got the optic chiasm all up in here. What I've got highlighted here is the left optic nerve. As I say, unfortunately, there's no way to simply click a structure and have the program tell me what it is that I'm looking at. I'm going to have to go hunting around. So I can't just click the optic chiasm here. I've got to select it. What I'm hoping is that one of these views, so it's given me five to choose from will actually line up with the plane and the orientation in which I was looking at the structure before. There we go, number four. Once again, if I highlight something big, I'm going to zoom out and what I'm going to try and do is adjust the orientation of this image. And yeah, the optic nerve, even though I can clearly still see where it is, isn't highlighted anymore. Now for many people, this would be a huge problem. Credit to them, they've thought of this because if we move on from structures and go ahead to labels, the second uh, box up at the right hand side in our selection menu here, it's actually this mode of interaction with the website that's gonna provide us with that, with that more exploratory solution. And I really like this mode. I think if, if it didn't have this, this would be a problem for me, but they have tried to address the problem of it not being a 3D model in, I think, a very sensible way. So the last thing I want to talk about here, guys, is the quiz platform. I've kind of been distracted by the unbelievable quality of that spinal cord dissection. Um, the quiz platform, quizzing yourself is a really important way of cementing your knowledge. So let's just start a random quiz and see what this quiz engine looks like. So we can see here, for example, it's giving us one of the spinal nerve roots. And we can see this is Atlas um, here where I've got my, uh, where I've got my mouse, C2, C2 spinal nerve, C3, C4, I would call that C5. Again there, it's asking us for another bone, so we can see Atlas. Which one is it wanting me? I think that looks like C3 to me. And so on and so forth. And the advantage to this, obviously, is that it forces you to develop a 3D understanding of the relevant anatomy. The very last thing to say, guys, is let's say you found, you know, a position that you really like or an image 
that you want to share with your colleagues. Let's take a layer off there, spin it that way so we can see the tendons of this foot really, really well. The website will actually let us export the images ourselves. So we can save that and it's given us the 4D interactive logo there. All of these images are actually individually hyperlinked so we can share them with our colleagues or if you're a lecturer wanting to share them with your students, even those who don't have a subscription to 4D interactive. So ultimately guys, you know, what are we looking at here? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? Currently a subscription is $99 per year, that's 99 US dollars. And if you think about the thousands and thousands of man hours that have gone into preparing the specimens, doing all the modeling and the labeling, you're looking at something that's incredibly labor intense. Key advantages, it's completely accessible through the browser so you're not bogged down through a proprietary client, you just log in from whatever device and it's good to go. You have a completely realistic version of the human body, not an abstraction, which I love. You've got all the built-in education platform features, labels, quizzes, tutorials, everything you want. And I think another key feature that I haven't mentioned so far is because of how detailed it is and because it represents surgical anatomy, I think this has value not just for medical students but for new doctors and surgeons who are sitting their surgical college exams because although it's tailored for medical students, you know, as the company themselves say, actually there's a ton of value for surgeons because the anatomy is captured so well. So those are my key thoughts on the platform guys. I've really enjoyed using the platform and making this video. I've really enjoyed checking out the platform and I'd be really interested to know what you think in the comments below. Now, the bit you've all been waiting for, how can you win your very own subscription to 4D Interactive Anatomy? Now it's super easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is go to 4danatomy.com, sign up for a free trial, put in your details, and find the section where it says, where did you hear about us? Then you simply have to put in postgrad medic in that field. I've done it all on screen here for you. And that will enter you into the raffle to win a free year long subscription with a cash value of 99 US dollars. And the only other thing you have to do is be subscribed to this channel on YouTube, which if you're watching this, many of you already will be nice and easy. So just to run it through one more time, sign up for a free trial at 4danatomy.com and under where did you hear about us, put in my channel name, Postgrad Medic, and be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. That's it. It's open to absolutely anyone, whether you're a med student, you're a pre-med, or you're just someone interested in the human body and you want to try out this amazing new platform. So that's it guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to 4D Interactive Anatomy for sponsoring this video with the prize giveaway. And I hope everyone's found it useful. Please take care of yourselves, make sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go and check out my website postgradmedic.com for more free videos just like this one. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, if you'd like to support the channel there are three ways you can do it. The first is make sure you like, comment and subscribe, share the video with a friend. Second is you can buy me a coffee at my Ko-Fi link in the video description. It will help keep me awake during the editing process. And lastly, please make sure to enter the giveaway associated with this video, guys. It means a lot that I'm able to give back in this way, and I really hope you enjoy the prize. Take care, and I'll see you soon.